Teaching World Music Symposium is a really fantastic event. It's bringing together music educators, musicians, researchers and music of all stripes. It's a wonderful merging of how music can bring people together and it's all being spearheaded by Ray Ching Wong. The primary goal of my work here as a faculty uh, that teaches uh, world music uh, is to expand my students' uh, cultural horizon. And so I try to cover as much as possible in my class. The uh, singer by the name of Tamil is from Inner Mongolian University and majoring in throat singing. And throat singing means uh, singing two or three voices at one time. And it has become very, very famous nowadays as part of world music. So we're very fortunate to have him here. Exposure to different cultures, whether it's a, a culture here in the United States or a culture from another country, there is some of that breaking down barriers that happens. Most musicians are going to be educators at some point. I think that they can really be inspired and explore their own world of music and open up new worlds to their students. Jazz music, despite the fact that it originated in America, is actually a combination of many styles of music from around the world. And nowadays, the music's performed all over the world by people of you know, many races and ethnicities, and so that's why we found ourselves here.